Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and it is the long-awaited lasagna bin. Gonna take off the top layers here and see what's going on. I know it's probably been a month since I've looked in on these guys. Let's see. Coffee grounds molding. And what do we have here? Let's see. Still looks like the moisture's doing pretty good. I was a little concerned about that. Oh look, Greg's favorite bags. But they are, oh look at that, even a, a you know, worms in a bag. And so, the uh, overwintering the peppers, apparently one of the peppers dropped its <clears throat> flowers off. They usually do that. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, this was a little bit of the goulash. Had this packing crate that... Um, I order wine from places and they come in their individually um, little nested egg crate looking things. Okay, so it looks like this is getting pretty well worked over. Let's see. Oh! Got a little corn there. They're certainly getting into it. I'm not seeing, aside from that little piece of corn, I'm not, I'm seeing the lasagna strips, but I'm not seeing the food that was between lasagnas. Lasagna noodles, lasagna cardboard. Hmm. So a little avocado pit there. It's not sprouting. Um. Oh, another piece of corn. So, move that back over there and see what this other side is doing. This other side's a little drier. There doesn't appear to be any less worms. Uh oh. There we go. Worm in a corn cob. Kind of a worm ball going on over here. That's not a worm egg, but it is worms in an eggshell. So I guess that kind of makes it a worm egg. Yeah, for a while there I wasn't really paying attention. Everything that was good enough for the worms to eat just went into a bag and the bag went in here. So they're just all throughout. There's not <clears throat> really any identifiable food except for the long-lived things like the mango pits, the avocado pits, and the corn cobs. They're just really nicely all the way throughout. Must have been some citrus. I can smell it. So the moisture's good. So what I'm going to do, since the upper layers, this is getting awfully full. So I'm going to have to let them finish this up. Harvest it. I think this thing harvests more off. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait. Here we go. Worm ball. And what it, what is that? Green pepper? God, I'm going to smell it. I have to. Nope. Shouldn't have done that. Ugh. I think it's a mango. So, worm ball in a little mango that was tucked back in the corner there. Phew. That is. That's ugly. You get back under there. Ugh. So, we are running out of room in the lasagna bin. So, I'm going to kind of have to uh, lightly feed them. 
So I'm going to put the cardboard back on top in this layer. And right here. And I do have some more food for them. Okay, so this is going to be ugly. But this is apple. Uh, after you juice apples, this is what's left over. It's been sitting in a stock pot in my basement for about two weeks. Still doesn't smell too bad. Kind of vinegary, really, if anything. So let me grab some cardboard. Nope. How about I grab the old cardboard? The old Amazon wrapping paper. Just tuck that in a little. Tucky, tucky. Tuck in the worms. Grab a little bit more. That is sort of the lasagna method, which is to just layer the food on the cardboard. Usually some pretty wet food so that the cardboard sucks it all up. So we'll give them a new piece of cardboard just to kind of protect it from mats and whatnot. A little bit of a lid. And then that's it. That's it. Go. And. All right. That's it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit the little bell notification and if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. But uh, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody have a good day.